All right. Hi there and welcome back to the channel. Today is actually a special day because we had a delivery. We had a delivery from a company called Schmirl, 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 um, just wait, wait a second. Let me, let me check how it's pronounced. Uh, translate Google and it's, let me see once. Smeel. Let's try in Dutch. Smeel. No, um, let's call it Smurl, right? Um, for the information, this video is not sponsored by them. So, but if you're watching, you know where to find me. So, all right, we're going to open up the box. Um, it says counter and I had this uh, made with the, whoa, all right. So there's a note inside that says um, to start uh, HTTP, WW and so on. Um, in the box, there is a, a foamy thing, power adapter, cable, and everything you need to power it up. And then it's the counter itself. Yep, that goes there. And we had this specially printed with our logo. So, all right, so the idea is that I'm going to put up the numbers here of the um, yeah, the amount of subscribers on the YouTube channel. So let's dive into some code and make that work. And in the meantime, I'm going to power this up. So here we go. All right, so I already set up um, the Smurl counter here. Um, so as you can see, I already had a counter for my company, um, but I call this one the code with bird counter. And what we're going to do, we're going to actually adjust this here. Um, your data in a JSON URL. Um, let's have a quick look how, how that works, right? So whatever the source is, we have to gather that data and put it in a JSON uh, response on an URL. Uh, for example, number equals a number. So what we're going to do, we're going to create a JSON, a JSON object that returns a number with a key number. So let's dive into the code here. And we're going to open up a, a PHP tag. So um, actually echo JSON encode of an array, let's say uh, an array number, whoops, I'm going to use double quotes, number equals, um, let's say five, right? Like that. Let's save that. And um, that should be fine. But we're, we're actually going to grab data from um, the Google API. So we're going to head over to console google.com. And in here, I already created this project beforehand. And if you dive here, I'm just going to blow it up a bit um, to APIs and services, and you go to credentials, you can actually create your own credentials. So I created this yesterday evening. Um, an API key and it doesn't have any restrictions to it, but I'm going to delete it anyway because I'm going to show the key to you guys. So I'm going to delete it afterwards, of course. Um, the next thing you want to do is go to enable APIs and services. And in here, you want to uh, click the plus sign here. All right, then you come to this page. Um, and in here, we're actually going to use this one. YouTube data API version three. If you click that, and of course I already have it active, but in here there is a button enable. If that's not present, it's fine. Uh, that, that means it's already enabled. If it's not, just click the button and it will take a few seconds to, uh, to have it enabled. All right, so that being said, um, we're going to create a new variable, channel ID. And here, go, here we're going to put the channel's ID that we want to track the number of uh, subscribers from, right? Um, then the API key, of course, that's an important one. Um, and that's the one I'm going to show you and I'm going to delete it afterwards. So don't mind copying this. This is only temporary. Then we're going to um, grab the API response respond. Actually, I'm, I'm, all, I'm going to use camel casing for everything. There we go, the API response. And in here, we're going to use file get contents. 
there we go and i'm going to grab something that i already used before of course i've been i've tested this before so um where is it it's here all right there we go all right so we are using https googleapis.com youtube version 3 channels and i'm going to use the part statistics with the id of my channel um, the fields are going to be items statistics and subscriber counts and the key well yeah the api key that we're going to use all right so um well that's actually going to return some kind of a json object so i'm just going to um decode that so um decoded a response and this is actually copied wrong i need to have camel casing here and here also there we go um decoded response and the decode response is actually a json decode of um, the api response that we, we previously had and i'm going to um, add a true to that there we go to use it as so whoops true not straight true all right so now we have um actually um yeah the decoded structure and i'm going to take out the count um the counter number uh whoops the counter number from that um yeah from the decoded response so the decoded response and it's actually an array of items because we grabbed the the items here field items and it's in between quotes here and it's actually the the first one so zero and it's uh, the statistics and it's the subscriber what, what was it called uh, subscriber count I'm going to copy it there we go there and if I just echo this whoops echo of the counter number I'm just going to comment out this um, there we go semicolon and i actually have this up and running at smurl smurl counter dot test because i'm using laravel valet and this index file is in a folder in my valet so this is accessible and here we have adjacent decode oh i have a lot of uh, things going on here um let me check of course i didn't fill in the um the correct values yet so my channel ID is, uh, let me grab it here real quick. This is my channel ID and my API key, which again, I'm going to delete afterwards. So don't mind copying this. Um, there we go. And if I save that and I run this again, undefined variable, well, yeah, I made a typo here, response. It's response, not responsen. There we go. I currently have 700, and I'm just going to blow this up a bit, 798 subscribers at my YouTube channel. All right, so this gives me the correct number. So let, put, let us put this back. Um, so JSON encode again of number equals to a number. And I'm going to replace this with the counter number. There we go. And actually, this should do it. If I refresh again, I have number, a JSON object with a key number in it with the real number of my subscriber count. So next up, I'm going to put this on uh, a web page uh, like smallcounter.bird.gent. And I'm going to add this to, yeah, to this data um, thingy here in the smurl configuration file so i'm quickly going to set it up and i'll get back to you in in just a second all right so now it's available on um let me quickly show you uh smurl counter dot bert dot gent and there we have it number and the exact number of this youtube subscriber count as is at this moment so Let's copy this link. There we go. And paste it in here. All right. So 
this is actually an attribute called number. We could have chosen to call the the yeah the, the number of subscribers with a key called count, likes, or number, and we went for number. So the attribute is number, and if I hit save, then I get it in here at the top of the screen right now. And this is set to every two to 10 seconds. So normally this should be, oh, right, there it is. There it is. And let me check, is it, is it correct? it is so actually that that that's it that's how you create your well you don't create this yourself you, you ask Smurl to do it for you you print your logo on it you have um, the API of Google for yeah to retrieve your account that you want you could do a lot of things with this just with an easy and simple well easy and simple is the same but with uh, a simple JSON response and this thing grabs it from the web server and there you go and that's it and by the way installing this is very easy it has uh, two screw mount screw mounts and at the back you can plug it into an um, ethernet cable or you can use wi-fi i did with, with did it with wi-fi here um, so yeah and guys i want to see this number go up to a thousand real quick so take care bye bye and like and subscribe and see you in one of the next videos bye bye